What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Cowl Vault, and in today's episode, we're going to be doing an in-depth review of my Batman The Animated Series 1 to 1 scale Kevin Conroy tribute urethane Batman bust. So yeah, today's video will be a in-depth review at my animated series, one-to-one -one scale, Kevin Conroy tribute, Batman the Animated Series, Urethane Bust, made by Fanatic Effects. This video is upon request, and this video is dedicated to the Gotham Collector. Please go subscribe to his channel. He doesn't have too many subscribers right now, but he does cool stuff like me. If you like my videos, you will like his videos. He has some Batman cowls in his collection. He wants to showcase them, and I've liked every video so far. The guy is really, really nice, and he's got a lot of information. He's got a lot of skill. He's building a bat suit of his, of his own, and I'm just really interested to see where he can take his channel. So, the Gotham Collector. I'm going to leave a link down below. Go subscribe to him, guys. Um, I want this guy to get the notice that he definitely deserves. His um, videos are very, very informative, and he's showing off some cowls that I don't have. So if you want some other different versions of cowls, please go subscribe to his channel. You can get the great same content that you get here over there at the Gotham Collector's channel. All right, guys, let's get right into the review. All right, so here we have the urethane bust. Um, I have this on a really weird uh, paper towel stand. I believe this is probably like a toilet paper stand. Um, it looks really, really funky. <laughs> I told my grandmother at Christmas that I needed more um, paper towel stands and she didn't know what I meant. So she bought me this. But it works pretty well because this one is a bust and not a cowl. So I just have him stuffed. And uh, it works really well to hold him up. So this comes to me courtesy of Fanatic Effects. You can find this item on his Etsy shop. Um, he offers this as a full painted bust. So the eyes will be trimmed out. There's actually LEDs installed so they light up and the skin tone will be painted. Um, and yeah, it's a really, really nice piece. It is made of urethane rubber. So I mean, technically, you could trim this away and trim the eyes out and wear this. But I don't think it would fit a human head very well because Batman in the animated series had a very distinctive jawline and most humans in, you know, the world don't have this massive of a jawline. So, I mean, cut it at your own risk. I'm going to leave mine the way it is, but this is the way that it was sent to me. And how I acquired this was... Um, Fanatic Effects was in the process of remolding this bad boy right here, but his original mold didn't come out properly, and I had already ordered it. I had already pre-ordered it, and he felt bad that it didn't come out. He's like, hey man, is there anything in my collection that you would like at equal cost because I don't want to leave you hanging? And I said, I really want this bad boy right here. And it would have cost it a little bit more to have it with the LEDs and the paint. So I asked for just a raw casting and all black, a very museum quality animated series style bust. He said, no problem, dude. And he sent this my way. And then eventually down the road, he did end up remolding this. And I have this beautiful ice cowl in the collection. Let me know if you guys want a review on that bad boy. But here we have the animated series bust um, referred to in his... Etsy um, collection of things you can purchase, his his catalog, there we go, his catalog, as the Kevin Conroy Tribute Cowl. This was hand sculpted by Selman himself, and I believe this is the most accurate piece of any life-size animated series Batman collectible. This I would put this piece over the brand new half-scale animated series bust that is coming out. Um, I'm put a picture of it right here. I believe this thing trumps it. If you're looking for the ultimate animated series life-size one-to-one scale Batman, this is the way to go. Um, 
The price on this is unbeatable. It is made of rubber, so if it falls off your shelf, or if you get an earthquake or something like that, it's not going to break, as opposed to a resin statue might break if it falls off your shelf. This thing, you're pretty much safe. So I'm going to take this off of this display holder so that I can hold this up and show it to you guys. So this piece is obviously modeled after the new Batman Adventures. This was the fourth season of Batman the Animated Series where all the characters got slight redesigns and Batman was sharpened up quite a bit. And this is just an unbeatable, unbeatable piece. I... If you buy this piece, you will not... You will not be disappointed. It is absolutely breathtaking to see this piece on the shelf. To this day, it's one of my favorite pieces in my collection. I might even go as far as saying it is my favorite piece in my collection. The animated series is so close to all of us Batman fans, and this is like the ultimate way to really celebrate that is by a nice life-size replica of what Batman looked like in the cartoon. And this thing was executed so well that it almost looks like a 3D render um, from the Batman the Animated Series video game Batman Vengeance. This looks like um, what Batman's model looked like in the cutscenes of that video game. It is just executed so flawlessly and it's just absolutely amazing. There are no flaws on this thing whatsoever. There are no air bubbles. This thing is just a nice freaking beautiful replica. The ears are filled solid. So they are made of urethane rubber, but they are filled solid. Here's the top of the head for those of you that want to know if it's symmetrical. It is so immaculately symmetrical. And it is just an amazing, amazing piece. And again, if you guys would like yours to be, you know, very faithful to the cartoon, he offers this faceplate fully painted with cutout eyes and light up LEDs. So it would look just like the comic book. I'm going to put a link right here. Not a link, the image right here of what it looks like in his shop. But I really liked this museum quality, all black. Maybe one day, maybe one day, I'm very... I'm very nervous to touch this, but ver maybe one day I will try to attempt to paint this and give it some white eyes. But for right now, this is how I want to leave it, and it is just freaking perfect. This is the most beautiful Batman the Animated Series collectible, I believe, on Earth. You can't go wrong with this. You absolutely cannot go wrong. And you can go with the Animated Series bust that is coming out that is half scale or you can get a life size animated series replica that is well protected because it's made of urethane rubber for a way better price like come on guys you can't tell me that this does not look like the animated series Batman this is ripped right out of the cartoon and it's absolutely flawless so as I previously mentioned, this is made of 40 Shore Urethane Rubber, and because this is made as a bust, it is actually cast a lot thicker. So this Batman bust, I would say, is about 2 inches thick, as opposed to Batman cowls that are about an inch and a half. This is cast 2 inches thick all the way around. Um, if you would like to wear this, I would say it probably fit up to a 25 inch head. It is a really, really big, big mask when you compare it to some other masks. Um, let's see if I can just pick one off the shelf here to compare it to. One second. Alright, I found one. So here we have a cowl. This is a custom cowl um, by Luster's Workshop. So this fits up to a 24 inch head. And here it is compared to the Batman the Animated Series bust. You can see that this one is very noticeably bigger than this one. 
This one fits my head pretty snug with very little wiggle room. I'm about a 24 inch head. This fits perfectly with hardly any wiggle room. This thing would probably spin around on my head. It is that massive. But, I mean, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with this immaculately beautiful recreation from the animated series. I can't push this thing on you guys more. If you are to buy anything, anything at all from Fanatic Effects, okay? If there was one thing, me, who has like multiple items from this seller, would push on you, it is this. There is no one on the market that has come this close to making something this immaculately accurate to Batman the Animated Series and been this faithful to the source material than Selman did in this sculpt for Fanatic Effects. This is the thing. People always ask me, should, should I buy from Fanatic Effects? What do you recommend? What do you recommend? You have like so many items from the guy. This. If, if I could only have one item from Selman, it would be this piece right here. This is the best thing in my collection. And it is just nostalgia, and it's my childhood, and I am so happy that I have this in the collection. You guys can't go wrong. So there it is. The animated series Kevin Conroy Tribute Urethane Bust by Fanatic Effects. Go buy it. Click off this video, go to Fanatic Effects on Etsy, and buy this thing. I swear you will not regret it. You will not regret it, okay? This is the most amazing piece um, that I own. This is honestly the best piece in my collection, and if my house burnt down, I would probably save this piece over anything else. And I can't get it to go back on the stand right now, but that, 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 buy it. All right, so that was my review. This review was requested by the Gotham Collector. Again, go follow him, go subscribe. He does the same stuff as me. So if you like these videos, there's more of them over on his channel and he has items that I don't have. So if you want reviews on other Batman items, go to the Gotham Collector. I'm gonna leave his channel link down below. Um, and yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing. Um, leave me your feedback in the comment section below. What cowl would you like reviewed next? I have a lot of them. So, leave your feedback in the description below. I really appreciate reading all your comments and meeting all of you guys like the Gotham Collector. He's a really cool guy. So, peace out. Be good people.